We got another bomb truck here to the left. And oh, this is out of control. No, <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. No, oh, I cannot leave this parked here. Oh, this will not work if this is parked here. Uh, we really just have to get down to that bottom section in there. And oh, really? Re oh, dude, we just saved it. That was the best save ever. And oh, this is going to be good. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. RV's gone. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today we have a bit of a challenge. I'm going to call this a mini challenge. This is kind of like a little solo deal that I'm going to do here today. And we're also going to probably check out a couple workshop creations that have been sent to me through my Discord. But today, we've got the Dangerous Cargo Challenge. This is something you guys were wanting to see, and I thought about doing this in multiplayer, but I couldn't figure out the logistics and how it actually would work uh, with two people. So we've got a big car hauler here, and this is actually a really, really simple objective. Get to the bottom of the canyon. Now we've done stuff like this before. We've done many races here with Spy, Obi, Moombo, Scrapman, and different little challenges, but today is different. This is gonna be probably a test of my patience. I've had a couple challenges like this before where I've had to make it to the bottom of this and try not to crash. But today, that thing is huge. I'm actually kind of scared. I don't know if this is going to work. So, what's going to happen here today? We are going to drive that vehicle to the bottom of the cliff, but there's a catch. I cannot reset at all. That cargo has to make it all the way to the bottom. Now, to spice things up just a little bit more, we're going to add obstacles all up and down this canyon road. It's going to be probably explosive lemonade stands, other vehicles. It's going to be a mess. And there is one last catch to this challenge. If I have to restart at any point, if I crash the vehicle, wherever that vehicle ends up or wherever the car hauler ends up, it has to stay there. So if I crash it on the road, it's going to stay right in that spot and create another obstacle for me. So I don't really want to retry this a lot because I'm going to litter the side of this canyon with so many car haulers, it's probably going to make it impossible to pass. All right, so we do have a very awesome creation here. This is by Mr. Spam Track. This is his six car hauler. I tried to actually spawn this in a multiplayer session once and it crashed my game. I think it's because this thing's absolutely epic and it's made out of a lot of bricks. Now to try to prove my theory here, we're gonna make just a small run and throw it off the canyon. That and the whole fact that I love destruction. Uh, these cars are not, actually they are attached. Uh, if they weren't attached, I'm pretty sure this challenge would be pretty much impossible, but you can see they don't fly off. You can see the trailer likes to tip. Uh, throw it off. You can see where the hinge is actually connected. And, oh, that looks so cool! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that makes a nice little splat, too. That's probably going to be me many times in this canyon. But yeah, you can see that the cars are attached, so... I mean, it is still challenging, but that is probably really helpful that they are attached. Because I can only imagine trying to take a corner with those top vehicles and they're just flying off left and right. So, anyways, let me go ahead and set this course up and let's start this challenge. Here we go, let's go ahead and try this. Now, I have driven this around a bit, but I haven't gone down the hill, so I have no idea if this is even possible. I mean, some of these bigger creations like to basically just break apart as soon as they start moving at a certain speed, but... Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, this thing has no brakes. This thing has no brakes. Okay. Yeah, you can hear the tires are just sliding. Oh, this is going to be tough. You know, I should probably... Oh, there's the first obstacle. All right, got to swing wide here. It's not too bad. All right, the back of the trailer cleared it. We got another bomb truck here to the left. And oh, this is out of control. No, <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, I cannot leave this parked here. Oh, this will not work if this is parked here. Oh, come on. Slide off. Slide off. Oh, I need you to slide off the... Oh, this is going to be bad. All right. I might be able to get the vehicle off here. There we go. Wow. I just made this a whole lot harder. Actually, I think it's going to fall. Come on. Fall. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we've got our new obstacle in the way. Yeah, this thing is a lot more sensitive than I thought it was going to be. That back trailer has no stability and looks like it's going to fall off here. 
That's actually good for us. Uh, well, there's still a car up here. Okay, well, this might be pretty hard. So, let's go reset to the top of the hill. I'm really hoping this last car slides off. And it's settled. Well, this is gonna be fun. Alright, here we go down with our car hauler. The dangerous cargo challenge, take two. Oh, we've already made a mess on the road. I was really hoping more of that trailer would just get off the road because we're gonna have to push through a bit and I have a feeling that's gonna do some damage, so gonna have to be careful here. All right, it's gonna hit the brakes. Yeah, you know, once you get used to how some of this works and how the trailer sways and just how much the brakes don't work, this actually isn't, isn't too bad. But as I say that, I really thought I was about to tip over there. Okay, here we go. There's the bomb truck, which is actually kind of a little more in the way this time. Uh, skim by it. I am slamming on the brakes and this thing is not stopping. Oh, we're running through so much debris. Ooh. Ooh, is the diesel okay? Uh, something's not working. I'm still on the brakes. Oh, there goes a the tire. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. And here is the first lemonade stand. This thing feels like where are the tires missing at, actually. Okay, they're on the actual diesel itself. Uh, get around the lemonade stand, but don't go off the side. All right, here we go. Oh boy, we made it. We made it. That is amazing. This is weird. We're like playing American Truck Simulator in Brick Rigs, except for this is like a lot more dangerous. Actually, I think they just came out with some dual truck DLC or dual trailer DLC. And oh boy, we're losing parts. You can hear something's breaking up in the back of the trailer. All right, here comes another. Oh, that is a really bad place for that lemonade stand. Can I even get by that without clipping it? Uh, okay, let's roll by. Roll out. Roll out. We made it. We made it. Oh, and we're skidding. We're going too fast here. Right, here we go. Gas up. All right, so here's the first big natural obstacle. This is a completely sharp corner. I could hardly make this in the other challenges with normal vehicles. How in the heck am I supposed to do with this? Uh, let's swing wide here. Let's go as wide as possible. There we go. Oh, it's sliding. It is not turning. Come on. Let's get some lights here. There we go. Oh, is it gonna make it? Oh, I think we might make it. Oh, that back trailer is sideways. Okay, we're good. All right, we're doing a good job here for this being the second turn. Uh, let's see, I see some more lemonade stands down there. I believe we have another vehicle around the corner. Actually, you can see it right there. Oh, that's going to be hard to get by. Uh, we're going to have to get really close to the side of the cliff up here. So let's go ahead and let off. Try not to let that back trailer swing too much because it does like to slide around. And I think we're missing something back there in the back because it was smoking. And now it doesn't handle right. <laughs> Okay, so here is the next bomb vehicle. Let's go ahead and see if we can skim around this side here. Uh, I feel like I got this. I don't want to drop a tire off in the dirt because if you do that, this trailer is going to slide off. So there we go. Got that one. And All right, there's the next vehicle down there. It's a dump truck. or a, I guess they call it a dump truck. I was calling it a gravel trailer. We get a lot of those down here in Texas. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, no, that might have been too fast. All right, here we go. I'm going to make the left-hander here. Why are there pieces? Did that come from the vehicle? Oh, that must have came from above when I crashed the first time. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh no. Oh, I feel like I'm stuck. Come on. Come on. Power on. It doesn't help that I'm missing some tires in the back. All right. We might actually make it with this cargo. Feeling pretty confident. Uh, we really just have to get down to that bottom section there. And, oh, really? Really? Oh! Dude, we just saved it! That was the best save ever! How in the heck? Oh, I thought for sure we were going off the cliff there. Alright, let's go to the left side of the dump truck. Yeah, that's really just a minor inconvenience, some of those vehicles. I could have stuck them sideways across the road, but I figured that wouldn't have been very good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright, we're good. We've got another lemonade stand. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's going to be... We need to stay in the right lane here. There we go. Let's go and start getting some brakes here because that's a pretty good kink to the right. All right. Completed that one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why did it break off? Why did you break, trailer? Oh, it just snapped right off. I think we took that corner too fast. 
Yeah, folks, this isn't probably as easy as it looks. I mean, it, maybe it doesn't look easy, but yeah, that trailer is so sensitive in the back, so there goes another one. We weren't that far either. We had just a little ways to go. There's a couple more tricky obstacles uh, down here. We've got another lemonade stand over a, a blind hill, but oh, I would say that's probably at least 60, 70 percent done. All right, well, there's another obstacle in the road. Great. All right, here we go off on another run. I really do feel like I'm learning how to control this. Uh, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's still really hard. But this first section is not too bad. All right, I think I pretty much have this first part nailed down really good. It's really that a couple of those high speed sections, like I said, if you get over a certain speed with these trailers, uh, they typically, oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we saved it. We saved it. Yeah, if you get over a certain speed, these things typically break apart in brick rigs. Especially the whole fact that it is a dual trailer. So it cannot take the speeds that I'm I'm giving it. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, we clipped the lemonade stand. Oh, that was so close. All right. Yeah, this is some epic cargo. There's a couple other things that I have that I think would be really hard to get down the hill. Uh, one being a... Why am I losing so many wheels? Uh, where'd that wheel come off of? I think the truck itself sheds a lot of wheels but yeah like i was saying we have some uh, really really epic cargo pieces there's a i've got a big missile for one of them and there's several other things that i think would be an absolute challenge to get down some of these hills uh, let's go ahead and take this really sharp corner i think i learned enough last time just kind of start out wide and then slow down give it some breaks there we go that's so satisfying to watch uh oh oh all right, I almost stopped giving it input, and I almost completely screwed myself up there. So, uh, we're doing good. Uh, the only thing that's wrong is the whole fact that we're missing wheels, but I really think these dual wheel setups that a lot of people are doing on these creations, uh, they're really cool looking, but I notice they fall off a whole lot. And I wonder what the reason is behind that. I don't know if it's just violently shaking when they're right beside each other, or why they're all popping off like that, but nonetheless, Doing a pretty good job here. Uh, we're going to have a sharp left-hander. It's going to send us back. And we're going to get back to the point where we had problems last time. And did this bomb... Why does this bomb truck seem like it's a little further out than it was? You know, sometimes I think objects move by themselves in brick rigs. Uh, let's go on the outside. Oh, the trailer is actually leaning. Uh-oh, I dropped some tires off. Oh, don't. Don't slip off. There we go. Alright, so that's good to go. Yeah, this is a true big rig challenge. Alright, we still have it in our first gear. We're trying to pull around this turn. This turn really gets sharp here right at the end. And I have a feeling the lack of wheels, or the wheels that I'm missing, is actually hindering my turning ability. That's what it feels like, at least. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't slide, trailer. Don't do it. Alright, here comes the, uh, the gravel truck, which is kind of really it's not really that big of an issue it kind of makes you stay in the left lane and it is a bit uneven feels like that wall wants to kind of suck you in but other than that all right here comes the spot where we lost it last time and the problem being now is the whole fact that there should be oh yeah there's pieces in the road how am i going to get by all this all right let's go ahead and start hitting the brakes this is what crashed us last time going way too fast through here all right here we go we're going to have the lemonade stand on the left. Hitting the brakes pretty heavy right here because this is where we tipped over and broke. All right. Actually, it looks like a lot of the pieces have cleared themselves. Oh, no, no, no. The back part of the trailer is going to catch. Oh, it didn't. Yay. We made it. All right. So here comes some really tough sections like what's happening right now. This trailer, it takes a lot of momentum and there is a really really bumpy section up here it's gonna slow us down so hopefully this trailer can power over we still have all six cars so I'm pretty happy about that I'm jazzed and we've made it the furthest we've ever made it before so we're doing good folks uh, let's see you're gonna pull over to the right you know we probably should try this with two people I mean we'd have to find another diesel since this one doesn't really want to spawn in multiplayer but uh, oh how am I supposed to get by that? Oh, I'm going way too fast. What am I doing? <gasps> oh, wow. It wasn't turning, and then I thought all of a sudden we were going to crash, and oh, how am I supposed to do this? All right. 
Now stay in the right lane. You got to tiptoe by the lemonade stand. This is a really, really bad section. That is that back trailer going to hold on? Oh, I'm so slow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got to keep it in first gear here. It's like our towing gear. Oh, I think we're actually going to make it over the hill. There we go. Oh, we lost pieces. What the heck? All right, I really hope we don't shed the wrong piece, because if we do that, we are absolutely screwed. But we're so close. That is the end up there. I can't believe this actually worked on the third try. That's actually unbelievable. Uh, I thought this was going to be... This is tough, but once you learn to manage the sway on this trailer in particular, uh, it's actually not too bad. So let's go up here. This is taking all of my patience, all of my driving skill, which is not too much driving skill. It's morally patience here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That back trailer slid out there for a second. There we go. Over this hill. We've got some speed. Here comes the last hill, then it starts going downhill. Uh, let's go and hit some brakes because this is actually pretty blind. It's bad that I'm getting to actually remember, like, all of this course. This run that we've made a lot of times with different vehicles, uh, different multiplayer sessions, that I almost remember this section of road off the top of my head. There we go. We've got a couple more. Here comes a really tricky downhill section and the finish is up there. So we're doing pretty good in the Big Rig Challenge. We're dangerous. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, we're good. We're good. Yeah, the Dangerous Cargo Challenge. I like that. This is actually a really good suggestion by you, the viewers. So we're going to go down. There's going to be a left-hander, then a right-hander, and we should be to the... No! Oh! How did that not fly off? It was getting ready to tip. Yeah, that trailer is really only connected by... It's like a little ball bearing. And if it flips over, it will tip... Like, it will continue to go. There's no stopping. You have to counter it. And there we go. That should be the finish. I have no clue how we did that. Oh, boy. I never want to do that again. That was frustrating and nerve-wracking at the same time. Yeah, going down that cliff and having that much weight trying to stop it and keep it from tipping. Yeah, I really want to destroy this thing now. We're going to take this out on the trailer. Let's go ahead and spawn in the rocket launcher. And how does this thing blow up? Oh. Oh, that was satisfying. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I guess because uh, the parts are really thin here, like the little ramps. So it really just blows apart. Oh, it's so cool. All right. Yes, vehicle. I don't like you. I mean, I like you. You're an awesome creation, but you cause me much pain, much suffering. Uh, where's the engine at? Is it right here? Yeah, I think it is. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn a couple more creations that I just wanted to try out real quick. Uh, I have some Discord creations that- Oh! Oh, that was awesome. That worked really good, actually. Ah, okay, everything's gonna catch on fire now. But yeah, I've got a couple Discord creations we're gonna check out real quick, and then we are gonna wrap this episode up. Okay, so we are back here at the garage. I am going to take care of this car hauler here in just a second. But first, I've got to acknowledge somebody from my Discord, if many of you guys didn't know. I do have a Discord. We kind of have a little scrap mechanic slash brick rigs community going on. And I was actually sent something that is actually quite amazing. Uh, this is a RV made by Sky. This is a hundred and... Wait, not a hundred. Fifteen hundred blocks. This thing is a really awesome little RV. It's called the Alpine. Now, he's got two versions of this. And you're probably wondering, why did you just pull out a, a random RV? Well, his second version really speaks to my heart. It's something that I really enjoy in Burke Riggs, and uh, we're going to use it here in a second. But I do want to go ahead and acknowledge how awesome this RV is. So this RV, 1500 blocks, it's got its uh, little custom plates here, Brick Vada. I guess it's where we are. Hey, it kind of actually makes sense. I mean, this kind of looks a little bit like Nevada, a bit. Maybe not quite as, uh, well, no, it's pretty dry out here. Actually, where's the casino at? But anyways, we've got an RV here. Let's go ahead and open up the door on the side. This thing's got a full interior, which is actually quite amazing. So, come on, door. Let me in. Sometimes this door sticks. All right, you know what? I got an idea. We all know how Komodo gets doors open. We will just... There we go. Oh, door stuck. All right, let's, let's get the door finished off here. All right. So, we no longer have a door. We can should be able to walk right in. 
So yeah, check out this interior. It's actually quite... N oh, oh, oh. Is it really that little block? Is that, is that blocking me? Get it? Blocking? All right. So yeah, we've got a cool little interior here. Fully detailed. You've got a little dining area in the back. You've got a little setting area. Kitchen area. There's a little fridge over there. We've got some... Uh, looks like cereal. Just tons of little things. Where do you go to the bathroom at, actually? Huh. We didn't think that far. Uh, maybe we can go outside of the RV. But yeah, it's even got a little uh, bed up here. A little living quarter or bedroom thingy mabob. These are actually really cool in RVs. I like going up into these. It's something about being in that tight little... Can be, oh, oh, I didn't do that. Yeah, there's something about being a little in a little tight area up at the top of those. It's just really kind of cool. But yeah, I definitely want to thank him for sending that over. I am going to be using this soon in a crash challenge. But today, this kind of sparked my imagination. Like, hey, we can use this thing. Or we can use the other version of it. Uh, I guess one thing we've got to do since we're on the canyon map here. Let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like when we destroy it. Because that's like one of the best things here in Brick Rigs. Let's turn on the lights. Oh, those are bright. Oh, there's another sinkhole. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's freezing. Oh, that thing is massive. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Oh, it's going to slide all the way down. Oh, it's going to freeze. Oh, that is amazing. I love that RV. I love it even more when we destroy it because that's, you know, my thing here in Brick Rigs. Got to destroy everything I get a hold of. Am I still? Hold on. Oh, I was going to slow down time for a second. I was actually still in the driver's seat there for a, a moment. You know, that thing actually held up quite well. That's going to do pretty good in a crash. But the last thing I want to do here, you know, that's an awesome RV. But realistically, my Discord knows me. They really, truly do. Let me go pull out that other RV real quick. Alright, so we are here with the second version of this RV. And you're probably asking yourself, well, this looks the same. Well, there's something really special about this version of it. It's probably got one of my favorite features of all time in Brick Rigs in the RV. It is a bomb. And this challenge was a pretty tough one. So I feel like we need to end this with a bang. We need to take that car hauler out. So I'm going to move that car hauler in position. And we're going to have a massive explosion here. Alright, it is time to end this video with a bang. We have the car hauler here. It is time to take this thing out. I've had enough fun with it today. The challenge was awesome, but it's going to make me feel a lot better when I destroy this. Uh, we might use, like I said, both of these vehicles in our next crash challenge, which will be coming out very soon. We also have some more normal challenges coming out with Moonbow. Plus, we have some more four-player surprises for you guys again here in Brick Rigs. But yeah, oh, you know, I really thought this thing had a little bit more speed. Let's go ahead and get going here. Let's go for second gear. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Third gear. We got a third. We're going to go downhill just a bit. And... Oh, this is going to be good. Here we go! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Oh. RV's gone. Car hauler's gone. Oh, actually, the RV, I think, might have survived. The car hauler is completely destroyed. Where's the big piece? Oh, there's the big chunk of the RV. Where did Bob go? Bob. Bob? Bob. Oh. Wow. Bob really made it a, a really far away. What? Wow, he didn't make it really far away. Oh, he's going to continue to go. Bob has had enough today. Bob is really stressed out from that cargo challenge. He's uh, he's pretty happy he got all the vehicles back into the uh, the car dealership, but he's just, yeah, he's pooped for the day. So anyway, folks, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this little mini challenge here in Brick Rigs. If you have any ideas for challenges, comment below. Like I said, crash challenge coming up soon. Other challenges also coming up. Got some scrap mechanic on the way. And I might have a surprise or two here with games coming up really soon that you guys have been suggesting on the channel. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs.